Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's third and final video. Let's have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days. For today's final video, day 10 will take us to the 20th of June and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the SNGF Air and ECM Ensembles. Maybe run to around a couple of weeks. Have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us into early July and I'll get on that for you in a moment. Just say that first. Video sales are 6AM UK weather forecast and we've also released uh, the EC photo extend your opinion outlook as well so check out both your vids if you liked it about like share and subscribe on all today's videos and content thank you so much everyone for doing that for gals weather there thank you so much everyone uh just say about calendar so we are now asking for summer photos you've got a nice photo uh, that is summer themed then uh please can you uh and you'd like to submit it you know for consideration for uh next year's calendar then uh please can you email that to me at gals at gmail.com we are combining all of the photos at the moment. And then when we've got all of the photos for all the four seasons, uh, we'll start going through them and uh, picking our 12. Had some lovely submissions so far, but we are asking now for uh, summer submissions. So, uh, yeah, you've got a nice photo. And uh, email that to me at gazwellers.gmail.com. Thanks so much, everyone. For doing that. You can also post it to the uh, Canada Submissions channel on uh, Discord as well. And just to say, uh, we are asking that you own the copyright of the photo, of course. So uh, don't, don't take somebody else's photo from their Facebook page and whatnot. And uh, no AI enhancements as well, please, everyone. But as long as you uh, meet those two criteria, be happy for us to, uh, you know, publish it in our calendar. Then uh, we, we are happy, you know, to take those photos and to consider them for, uh, for the calendar. So thank you so, so much, everyone. Love it. Unbelievable. 2026 uh, coming into sight already. <laughs> won't believe it, would you? Um, thanks so much, everyone. Right, let's start the video. Then. Let's start off with the latest wind map from Earth, nullschool.net. So I've got low pressure in the North Atlantic. But actually, today we've got an extension from the Azores High. And uh, that extension is going to develop into an area of high pressure as we go through the uh, rest of this week. So it is going to be turning drier and also significantly warmer as well. Central England temperature is uh, now about as low as it's going to get, I think, uh, this month. We're down to 13.2, which is about one degree below the 61 to 1990 hours. So, um, yeah, really quite a cool start to uh, the month. That provisional to uh, the night. But I think from here on in, uh, that is going to start uh, rising up on the by this time next week, they're likely to be at least in the 14th, possibly even the 15th. I think that's going to uh, really rise up very quickly. And this is the reason why these are the GFS up rare temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. On less this is a red line. Here's a 30-year upper air temperature average for Leicester. We're starting off a bow average at the moment, but those upper air temperatures are going to be on the rise for the rest of this week, becoming significantly warmer, if not hotter. Then we see the upper air temperatures reducing that close to average. And then after that, into the second half of June, we see the upper air temperatures generally staying uh, above average. So it looks like it's going to be in for a warm uh, rest of June. Uh, really, with, uh, you know, not day-to-day -day fluctuation, obviously, such as we see here. But overall, looking pretty warm. And uh, for a few days this week, late this week, actually quite hot. The thick green line here, that's the GFS sits at operational run. That's at the cooler end of the ensemble, so bear that in Not an outlier, but it's at the cooler end of the ensemble, so bear that in mind uh, when we go through uh, chart data in a moment. Precipitation wise, uh, for Leicester, so quite a bit of dry weather to come till the end of week. Then there could be some big downpours and thunderstorms. After that, you know, we do see a few precipitation wise, but not all that much. So overall, <laughs> looking relatively dry, I think, for the second half of uh, June. Temperature double it is, it's five days, taking us to 15th of June, above average for most places. Six to ten day temperature anomaly is above average as well. As is 10 to 14 days, so looking pretty warm. Precipitation anomalies next seven days, 17th of June. Average is slightly above. Uh, four to 10 day, uh, drier than average. And then the 8 to 14 day goes even drier. So it's a warming and drying trend as we're going further on into June, man. 
Right, let's start going for chart day 10. This is our latest UK Met Euro run. is looking for midnight on Friday. High pressure east, low pressure west. And we're bringing up a southerly wind. That diverts into a fungi area of low pressure from Friday into Saturday. That could bring spring some big downpours, possibly some further storms. They push northwards. Let's go from Saturday into Sunday with heights rising a little bit down to the south um that's how we look as we get into next week so a ridge building back up from the azores side being a lot of dry weather to the south could be though a little bit more showery up in the north i can't again high pressure to the east low pressure west on friday and that brings up this southerly wind developing into thundery area of low pressure through western europe uh through the weekend because of big downpours to come then we may update Stormwatch uh, in uh, a day or so time. Actually, we've got a live stream uh, tomorrow at uh, 6 p.m. So that might be like as well as, you know, the regular live stream 10 to 14 day. Uh, we might do a mini Stormwatch with that as well. How does that sound? Uh, but anyway, Icon, let's go back to business. Icon building up from a high pressure up to the south early next week. Coming drier and warmer, hotter again as we go into the early part of next week under that area of high pressure and um, the kma is looking like this so once again we've got high pressure building up from the south through the early part of next week bringing a lot of dry weather there developing into a large anti-cyclone as we go to day 10 and beyond it so that's a setup by the 22nd of june that looks quite hot i have to say high pressure to our north and east low pressure out to the west so that they're combining to uh, sort of suck up a very warm if not quite hot southerly southeasterly wind there so uh once again the kma turning things hotter around day 10 and beyond there, let's move on to the GFS output. So this GFS big dike run for Friday. High pressure east, low pressure to the west. Very warm, if not quite hot, with both solar winds. A thundery low developing close to the country Saturday. And to send you that pushing uh, northwards. So then a ridge is down to south with lower pressure up to the north. Bringing in uh, a westerly flow. So a little bit cooler and fresher early next week. The high pressure is back in again by around days 8, 9 and 10. That's the second half next week returning us back to mostly dry and very warm conditions once again um generally anti-cyclonic at least in the south as we go into extended range very extended range now to the 24th 4th of june running up to gasto of course turns cooler with winds uh swinging around to a northerly still mainly dry but will bring some uh showers that's how we look as we get to uh thursday the 26th of june Again, got high pressure centering over the top of the country once again there. All right, let's move on to the GFS 6 then, and see how that one is looking. And we start off on Friday again with high pressure east, low pressure west. That draws up that very warm, if not quite hot, subway wind. Then we've got a trough or a fungi low developing close to the country next weekend. That moves off to Scandinavia. A ridge builds in from the west through the early part of next week, bringing quite a bit of dry weather, but a little bit cooler with winds in from uh, the northwest in that. And then high pressure is right over the country by the time we get through to days 8, 9, 10 and beyond it. So back into an area of high pressure. Slightly cooler with the temperature. Uh, the reason for that is that around the high pressure, the wind sort of coming in from a northeast direction. Remember, around high pressure, the uh, wind direction going in that direction. So um, that's sort of bringing the wind in from the north. That's the reason. It's slightly cooler within the uh, within the GFS ensembles, but it was still very pleasant. A lot of June sunshine, and it was at the cool end of the range. In any case, uh, as well. Uh, beyond that, well, pressure just starts to weaken a bit as we get to 26th of June. Maybe turning showery, but to be honest, it does look so. We're set for high pressure into the second half of the month there. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos, content, live streams, etc., etc., etc. Uh, don't forget to tell friends about Gaz Webbers and get them to subscribe to. And thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. About 25 subscribers will get to 19.9k. So if you could give us some, that'd be absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, GM, again, with high pressure east, low pressure west on Friday, drawing up that summery wind, and a thundery low, close to the country at weekend. Early next week, high pressure 
Ridges up from the southwest, bring a lot of dry and warm or very warm weather. And that high pressure remains uh, with us throughout next week, really. We're high and dry next week under that and cyclone with the gem. Could be very warm as well. And then the East Gem rounds it all off. So, uh, somebody wins on Friday. Turning thundery into the weekend. Next week, high pressure re-establishes from the Azores once again. Brings a lot of dry and very warm weather uh, with it. And then the high pressure is right in over the top of the country around days 9 and 10 at 1,030 millibars. No, we're looking mostly set fair. And the high pressure then goes on into the extended with the ECM as well. Maybe turning a little bit cooler late on. That's the 25th of June. Wind sort of coming in from more of a northwesterly direction. So it could be a little bit cooler, but still mostly dry with high pressure extending its influence in from the west. This is a precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tibet.com. So, of course, we have got some thundery showers and thunderstorms to consider for the weekend, uh, and we've got some big downpours by Saturday, Friday into Saturday. Uh, beyond that, though, next week trend is a drying one away from the uh, northwest, anyway, as that big area of high pressure takes over. These are the options on the table within the ESM ensembles today. Four day ten from the Icelandic Met Office is getting us to the 20th of June. No, uh, 26 members of the ESM ensembles with high pressure close to the contract and very dry and uh, warm or very warm there. And then we've got uh, 19 with an anti cyclonic influence as well. High pressure generally a little bit more to the south. I mean, east of the country, low pressure way to the north. It's, that could be a little bit cooler, but again, still mostly dry. And then this is uh, the other option. Santa side going to six members of the ECM on times with high pressure through the north and the west of Europe. So all options, all roads leading to high pressure at day 10 should be mostly dry and warm. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. You'll get to the 25th of June. 18 members of the ECM on times again with high pressure right over the country and drawing up a very warm, if not hot, summery wind. Uh, we have got 17 with high pressure, a little bit more to the south, and lower pressure, not ne necessarily low pressure, but lower pressure coming in from the Atlantic. Uh, and then we have also got 16 uh, with high pressure just out to our west, low pressure to the east. That's going to be mainly dry. I think that's the operational idea. That's mostly dry, but could be a little bit cooler. So uh, to day 10, well, all rose into high pressure at day 14, Bit of variation, but still, I think most of the options have high pressure, at the very least, close to us. Right, CFSB2, and then we're done. These are 500 millibar height anomalies, and we're broken down into week pairs. The first week pair, we're taking us from the 10th to 16th of June. The next week, we'll have high pressure over and to the east of the country. Low pressure will be out to the west, and we'll draw up a very warm, if not quite hot, subly flow. And week two is going to be the 17th to the 23rd of June with high pressure again right in over the top of the country. Week 3 will be the 24th to the 30th of June. High pressure very close to the country again. Could be a little bit cooler with more of a northeasterly flow. And then uh, week 4, well this is a big change though, by the 4th week, um, which is the first week of July, the 1st to the 7th, Goes very unsettled with low pressure being taken over through the northwest Europe. So, a big flip around there. Uh, but of course, it's four weeks away, so it's in the extended time frame. Therefore, it's the most unreliable part of the whole thing. <laughs> and uh, we'll wait and see how that plays out. Okay, we're done. If you can enjoy the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Webbies and get them to subscribe too. I and mean, thank you so much, everyone, for uh, doing that. 25 subscribers gets us to 19.9k. Wow, wow, wow. Unbelievable. I've gone blurred. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Unbelievable. Look there. Oh, we're still blown. No, but I'm going to wrap it up anyway. So, uh, thanks so much, everyone. Tomorrow, we'll have a 6, we'll, we'll, we'll have a six day UK weather forecast. We've got the first update for autumn coming tomorrow as well. And there'll be a 10 to 14 day live stream, which could include a mini storm watch too. Keep checking back to the channel for more. Oh, we're very clear. Uh, for this one, though, that's all for now. And thanks so much.